thank you, uh, Jeremy, for the invitation and for the organization of this uh, event. Um, I would like uh, I would like to talk about uh, like different uh, approach about what it means to make a, a, an habitat for people. I am um, I am concerned about the fact that we we tend to think that architects we make buildings, but in fact we don't make buildings. In fact, what we do is we create habitats, and in order to create habitats. That means that we need to design a series of, uh, let's say, continuous or discontinuous environment where the people uh, we, uh, we live. In fact, we, make, uh, we should think why we make cities or why we make buildings. In fact, we do it because we don't like to live uh, nude uh, in, the, in the middle of the nature. So, like many years ago, like 3,000 years ago, someone decided to start to make artificial houses and to live at the caves where we used to live the humans. So the question is, now we are starting the 21st century, and we should be thinking again how we should build uh, our living environment, how uh, our city should be created. You know that the word urbanism was invented in Barcelona 150 years ago by Cerda, making the extension plan of Barcelona. And that means that uh, inventions uh, occur many times uh, in, the, in the history of humanity. I think that we are now in one of these transition moments. In fact, when we, uh, we, we some years ago, the year 2000, we, we start to, to look to the people, how the people live, because architecture in the last uh, years was very important, was m very relevant in relation mostly with iconic buildings, but didn't have a very important systemic approach. Any innovation that we have right now in our house houses were produced in the 20s uh, during the Bauhaus time. And the question is, I mean, how bad we are as architects and as society that we didn't produce any major innovation in the last eight years. So we were looking how young people, old people, and other kind of a strange format of families uh, we were also uh, working with some sociologists, so we don't have any more uh, pyramid of population. We have a mushroom of population. Uh, we were also looking uh, when the people are married, and in relation with that, how the people are living. Because we we think we tend to think uh, that we make houses because someone needs them, but we don't know who they are. We don't look to the society, and then we don't try to answer to the real needs. Every, let's say, 20 years, there is a generation. In fact, there is every seven years, but every three times seven years, there is a new generation of people. And then, obviously, the, the, the situation changed. So uh, what we did some years ago is that uh, we realized that, in fact, we have 20% of the of the people are living along in Spain, but in uh, I used to live with three generation uh, family, but this is right now only like one percent of the uh, houses uh, in Spain. No, so the question is why we are still making uh, apartments and buildings as we used to build. And the answer uh, is very clear: is that uh, housing is seen even today more like a kind of uh, uh, something related with another form format for money. We tend to think about uh, houses and development as a kind of dealing about investment. The main objective in general for developers, I know that there are many clever developers here, but the main vision in many countries is to invest as minimum as possible and to earn as much as possible. So look where we are, and sometimes this doesn't work very well, and one part of the important crisis that we have is based uh, on this. So um, the question is, in the year 2002, I, I decided to propose to someone in Valencia uh, to, uh, to make a neighborhood. 
At that time, the, every city was trying to make the most impressive building as possible. But I thought that we should go back to think how new neighborhoods in the 21st century uh, should be built. And then I proposed to invite 16 architects and then to design a master plan and then to the, a new neighborhood. So uh, this is the city of Valencia. This is where the harbor, where the America's Cup happened. And as the, uh, this happened most of the time, they offered me the work most possible place. Uh, because social housing normally happen in the places that the city is not growing. And in fact, they offer me one place here in the south, in the other side of uh, this river, a place that in fact at that moment was agriculture land. So maybe someone thought, well, that's impossible because then the ecologists will be against this project, etc. No? So, uh, this was the place where we found agriculture, and in fact, we have agriculture because the Arabs arrived to Valencia like 700 years ago and they make some water channels. And the question is how to make a, a new neighborhood related with uh, the way uh, we live today or the way we imagine we could live in today. In order, there is a website, sociopolis.net, you can find some more information there. But in order to be sure, this is the latest model that we produce. So for me, the idea was not to make a grid as we have in New York or in Barcelona, but to make an urbanist based on th circuits. So the idea is we could do something like a circuit, something like this, only one street for the whole neighborhood, in order to try to keep as much as possible as the, uh, let's say, the agriculture structure on site. So the question is, urbanism was about making grids on kind of raw nature. 21st century urbanism, from my point of view, will be based more in following the rules of what we find in the sites, trying to discover the know-how of, uh, of the places, for example, looking to this old farm, uh, etc., and then trying to create good environments based on trying not destroying completely what we find. So that means preservation and construction will happen at the same uh, time. So that's the project that we uh, we has been uh, working. I propose that some part of the agriculture that was over there should remain here. We I propose also to have a football uh, co uh, a football court here, and some of the buildings that I was able to manage, inviting some architects, uh, will be built here around this place. So after fighting and managing, uh, dealing with politicians, with people, etc., the project is under construction. So you see here, the, this is the circuit that we are building. This is the farm that we are keeping. We are like two kilometers away from the sea. And this is some part of the water channels that we rebuilt. The original ones were built by the Arabs in the year 1000. So the, the, the oldest thing in that place is something that in general could be very irrelevant, that is water channel irrigation. But what we are doing is including, uh, including let's say, the history of the place into the project. No? Um, Another very radical proposal uh, that, in fact, uh, this is the reason why we are keeping on rebuilding the water channels, is we are going to have urban agriculture inside the city. Instead to have grass, we'll have tomatoes in some parts, in some parts of the neighborhood. And as you can see, this is not a dream. This is a reality because this uh, main area will be here, and so, 20% of the total surface of the neighborhood will be just pure agriculture. And obviously, the land will be owned by the uh, city, and then the city will make an agreement with some association of people, people living around. There are some uh, places like this already in Sevilla or in Barcelona, um, but this will be the biggest one and in Spain, and this will be also the one that will be using the traditional irrigation system as the Arabs did in uh, more than a thousand years ago.